What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2 in another Trials Era tutorial and guide. Today we're going to take a uh, look at shards and talk a little bit about shards. Now shards of course are replacing the old passive system in game uh, as items no longer have any sort of passive on them that, at all. However, they do have shard slots. So let's take a look at how that works. Now, first off, let's say, uh, let's say this Destruction Shard. It, it's a campaign shard that's pretty popular. Obviously, it's pretty awesome. Uh, increases the defense power of the affected tower by 34%. Now, that shard is going to be usable in a relic. Now, I think where a lot of people are getting confused here is, like most items, to equip them, you would just right-click on them. If you right-click on a shard it's going to give you this not equipable message that pops up. And I believe that's confusing a lot of people. So since we were talking about destruction, let's go ahead and take a look at a medallion here. Let's see, uh, or uh, just a relic in general. Let's take a look at just say, how about this mark? So to open up the interface for this item or any other item, you can do it in your inventory or an item that is directly on one of your heroes is you shift right click when you shift right click on an item it's going to open up the interface for that item this of course is going to be how you upgrade it and it's also going to be how you equip shards now there is no drag and drop here so if i wanted to equip shards into this mark i would just click on each individual shard slot and it's going to bring up the list of shards that are available to go in that item Let's say we want that destruction in there. We'll go ahead and click that bad boy, and now it is in. Let's move on to the next slot. And say, uh, say we want, we don't even have health on it, so we don't want to go with Vampiric Empowerment. Or actually, we do have health on it, so let's go with Vampiric Empowerment. That's going to increase the defense power of the affected tower by 60% of its defense health. And then for the slur, third slot, why don't we go with Water Elemental. So now these three shards are actually have become passives on the item itself. So now wherever I decide to quick, equip that item, let's say, for example, we wanted it on our explosive traps here, which currently have no item equipped. We're just going to go ahead and put that in that explosive trap set. And now my explosive trap has that destruction, vampiric empowerment, and watermelon, uh, water, <laughs> watermelon, <laughs> and water elemental shards all affecting that defense itself. So hopefully this clears up a little bit on how to use shards. I know um, for some people they're going to watch this video and they're going to say, well, yeah, but you've obviously gotten used to it. For a lot of newcomers to the game, they're still a little confused at how to slot these shards and make them actually usable. And hopefully this video helps you out. If you have any more questions on shards please let me know in the comments below and i will put a link down in the description that's going to take you to a page that has all the shards available and where to find them so thanks again for watching click that like button and please subscribe to the channel and we'll be back soon with some more dd2 see ya